Hi everybody, BeBev's fans. We are in the home stretch here of our Friday night cocktail series. Our last segment will be on Friday, June 18th. However, all of our beverages um, have been and will be uploaded on our YouTube channel, Quarantine Cocktails. So you can always find an old recipe uh, that way. And tonight's feature is something I've sort of mushed together from a bunch of different fun drinks I've had at bars around the area. And for those of you who know me, who have been drinking with me at the bars know that I have three criteria for a good cocktail. It's something fun, something fruity, and something colorful. So, um, I'm calling this one the Blue Pomacas Teeny. Say that three times fast, right? And it's a mixture of a, it's sort of a mashup of a kamikaze, a cosmopolitan, and a martini. So a kamikaze has vodka, lime juice, and triple sec in it. A uh, cosmopolitan has vodka, Cointreau, which is just fancy triple sec, and um, lime juice and cranberry juice, and the martini has gin and vermouth, right? So, okay, where did this stuff come from, right? That when I was researching the origins of the cosmopolitan, a lot of people tried to take credit for in inventing the cosmopolitan, and everywhere from like San Francisco to Minneapolis to New York. Um, and like from the 70s to 80s, and Carrie Bradshaw did actually sort of have a renaissance of the Cosmopolitan. For those of you who watched Sex in the City in the late 90s and early 2000s, um, it sort of made a comeback. So people have been doing variations on the Cosmo since then. But the earliest known um, written his recipe of the uh, Cosmopolitan is in this book called Pioneers of Mixing at Elite Bars. 1903 to 1933 and this book was recipe book was published in 1934 there's a recipe in there called the cosmopolitan daisy and it actually contained gin cointreau lemon juice and raspberry syrup so when chris and susan did their blueberry yum yum a few weeks or month ago months ago um i was inspired to see okay what can i mix what can i use this blueberry syrup for what other drink can i make so um, I actually decided to make my own version of this. And um, what you do is just take some ice in a shaker and one, one and a half ounces of vodka. And I like to do, um, I like to do raspberry vodka is my favorite, but you can use blueberry vodka or if you just wanna go straight up Tito's or straight up vodka, you can do that too. Three quarters of, I'm sorry, yeah, three quarters of an ounce of pomegranate liqueur, pama liqueur, which, can, which is pomegranate juice, vodka, and tequila of all things. Then you put in three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau or simple, triple sec, whichever one you have. Or if you, <laughs> I don't know how blue this drink would be, but you could use blue curacao too, which is just a blue version of, of triple sec, which is orange liqueur. Uh, a half an ounce of lemon or lime juice or a mixture of the two. And for those of you who um, know me. I also will always encourage you to use fresh squeezed lemon and lime juice if you have it or if you can just go out run out and get a couple of lemon and limes. If you can't then you can use the bottled stuff but it will take it to the next level if you can use your fresh squeezed um, citruses. And then finally we have of course three quarters of an ounce of blueberry syrup. So you mix that in your shaker, put that all in your shaker, mix it up for 10 to 15 seconds, right? Let's see if I can stand for 10 to 15 seconds of this. Pretty good, I think. And then you pop that off, get your fancy martini glass. Ooh, that's pretty, right? It's kind of got a pinkish hue to it. I don't know what it would have looked like had I used the blue curacao but maybe I'll try that next time. And then of course you take your fancy garnish, which is three blueberries, three fresh blueberries, pop it in there, and you got your blue pomacaz teeny. Cheers.